And now to breaking news out of Miami, where a 17-year-old has been arrested and charged with vehicular homicide after a woman was killed in a hit and run and another was badly injured. This was a terrible crash, an impact so severe the victims were tossed in the air more than half a block away. Now police say they nabbed the teenage driver who was responsible. CBS 4's Peter Dench joins us live from the scene of that hit and run. Maribel, Miami police tell us the suspect and the youngster who he was with were out for a joyride in a stolen car. They were speeding at the time, police say. It happened uh, at this intersection. Now, taking a look at some pictures that we have right now, they say that 17-year-old Fernando Altamirano, the alleged driver seen here, faces 13 charges, five of them felonies, including vehicular homicide. Police say the white Range Rover that he was in was captured on surveillance tape at a nearby gas station. It crashed into a red Nissan Altima on Monday here at Northwest 11th Avenue and 3rd Street. It took the life of 63-year-old Myra Sanchez. It critically injured Dania Montero, who was left with a broken spine, a lacerated spleen, and hip fractures. Now, police say this was a top priority for them. This was great detective work from our traffic homicide detectives and a neighborhood re resource officer in the Little Havana area who identified, who knows who these kids were. One of the things that, that we got through our investigation, our, our good detective work, is that this suspect who we arrested was planning to leave Florida. They knew that this was a stolen vehicle. They knew that uh, they were going approximately 50 miles an hour when they ran this stop sign in a residential area. And I guess just the fear of them getting into an accident and knowing possibly the damage that they have caused, they decided to run. Now, I just spoke with Alta Morano's mother. She told me she did not want to say anything. She and her son lived just two blocks away from this scene. Now, police say there were actually only two people in the car, the driver and a 14-year-old boy who he was with. They also tell us that at this point, it's possible there will be at least one more arrest. We're live in Miami. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.